Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane, SugarCane.com, C A C T V, representing for you right now. I've been away for a little bit. I've been out digging dirt, making trails, and stuff like that. I've been neglecting my YouTube channel and my website. So I'm back on board right now, and I'm gonna do a new segment called Bike of the Day. Yeah! Now, you already know that I do the Bike of the Month, the recaps, and all those things, but what I wanna do is I wanna feature bike of the day every day on youtube so whatever bike that i have featured on the site i want to feature it on youtube for you guys to check out see and go back and rate but before we get into that i want to give a big shout out to team corrosive mike wick and the whole crew over there representing they sent me a bunch of swag to wear for some photos and also to give out as prizes for you guys so this month's bike of the month is going to wind up getting a Team Corrosive hat. They're also going to get the medal that I always give out every month for Bike of the Month. And I might have some more swag for them, so stay tuned for that. I also want to give a big shout out to Supercross BMX, Bill Ryan, the whole crew out there. They show me so much love on the website. They also make some awesome, 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 great product. And I might have an exclusive, exclusive news for you guys coming out of the Supercross camp. So stay tuned for that. Now, so let's get into what the bike of the day for today is. Today's bike of the day. The bike that I picked to be bike of the day for today. Now, this is not the actual bike of the day for this actual day today. It's a bike of the day that's been featured on the site as bike of the day because I haven't gotten any new bike of the day submissions yet. So I'm waiting for some new submissions. But anyways, today's bike of the day is an HB Custom Garage Dub Bolt, AKA this one is actually a custom build and they call this one the Minor 29er. This was sent in by Aaron Smith. He got this bike built for his stepson, Hooper Vint, who is actually seven feet tall. Now, looking at the picture right there, you would think um, it's a 26 or a 24, but nah, it's a 29 inch bike built for a seven foot tall person. It's 27 inch top tube on that bike. What really stuck out to me, of course, and obviously, is the big lightning bolt bar they have in the middle which gives off that CW vibe. It gives off that profile racing vibe. You know, if you kind of put the CW and the profile together in one bike, it would be this bike right here. You know what I'm saying? But this is a dope custom built frame done by Huntington Beach Custom Garage. They actually make these frames. You can get one yourself if you want. So now we're going to get into this parts list. So like I already said, the frame is a Huntington Beach Custom Garage HBCG. 21 inch top tube frame. If you go and check them out on the Instagram page, the bike is actually called a Dub Bolt, but this one in particular is the Minor 29er. The cranks are made by Profile Racing and they are 190s. That's for some long legs, bro. Chain ring is a race frame, narrow wide. The chain is a Shadow Conspiracy Interlock V2. Forks are SM Pounding Beer 29s. The rims are made by TNT, those are the M80 rims. They also rolling on some TNT Revolver hubs. Big shout out to Mark Zalewski over there in TNT, killing it. And that's a real good look that TNT is making racing style rims for 29 inch bikes. So that's dope, shout out to them. He's rocking stainless steel metallic blue spokes. He's got those DT premium silver brass nipples on there. He's rocking 29 inch throne tires and his brake is made by Starry. It's a Starry V-brake. Starry or Starry? I don't know how do you pronounce that. Starry or Starry? I don't know. Next up, we got the brake cable, which is a Black Ops Defender Teflon coated stainless brake cable. The headset is a Rant 4545 integrated. The brake lever is a Paul Love lever. Never heard of Paul Love, but them joints look kind of fresh. He's rocking those Spank spike pedals. He's got a micro adjust seat tube. And the seat is a UTEP custom made by Mike Seiger of Huntington Beach Custom Garage. Check out Hoopa. Hoopa got this bike looking like a 24 inch right now. That's how tall he is. This bike is set up mad huge with the 27 inch top tube, 11 inch bars, 29 inch bike. And he's got, he's got, he's got 190 cranks. And he's got this bike looking like a 24 inch. That's how tall he is. That's crazy. He's got the SM 11 bars. He's got lizard skin lock on PD grips with the custom lock rings that say Hoopa on it, which is dope. The stem is a TNT threadless 60 millimeter stem. That's long stem. Bottom bracket is profile, chain tension is TNT, and the top cap is made by custom caps. And that is the Minor 29er. Dope bike, dope features, with some dope parts on it. So for all my tall dudes out there who think BMX bikes are too small, check out HBCG and get yourself a custom built uh, 29 inch bike. 
and have that joint looking like a 24 inch <laughs> and get on the track get on the trails with them joints all right so right here is the part on the page where you can see the rating results this is the this is the result box right here hooper's bike got a 9.39 overall score 24 people rated this bike as you can see here you can rate the color originality parts and overall style you can rate from 0 to 10 0 being the lowest 10 being the highest and once you rate the bike, it goes into the overall score. And the bike with the highest rating winds up winning Bike of the Month. So if you go to the Bike of the Month page, you'll see the Bike of the Month chart. And the Bike of the Month chart shows you how all the bikes of this particular month rank against each other. So this is the August Bike of the Month chart. As you can see here, it's the August Bike of the Month chart. And the number one bike right now is the Truth Main Event Double XL. Second place is the Speedco Velox Pro XL. And third place is today's Bike of the Month, the HBCG Minor 29er. And in fourth place is the Ice Black Pearl. As you can see here, the Truth has a rating of a 9.61, which is higher than a 9.54. So it doesn't really matter how many people rate. It matters how high your rating is, okay? So you can have 47 votes, but if everybody thinks your bike is a 9.54, and you got 20 votes here, and they all think it's a 9.61, then that's the bike that's going to wind up winning bike of the month. So you have to participate in rating these bikes, okay? So definitely come back to the website, sugarcane.com, and give all these bikes a rating. And give your honest opinion, your honest ratings. I have links in the description so you can find out how to submit your bike. There's a whole video about it. And the link down there will show you how to do that. You still have a little bit of time to submit your bike for this month. But if you don't make this month, there's always September. Whichever bike is at the top of the list on September 4th, Friday, September 4th, that's the bike that's going to win Bike of the Month. I'll be giving away a Corrosive hat, courtesy of Team Corrosive, Mike Wicken, and the whole crew out there. I'm also going to be giving out some more swag, maybe some stickers. Maybe some stickers might give out. And there's also going to be a medal I'm going to be giving out. It's not this particular medal, but it's similar to this, a medal for Bike of the Month. So make sure you leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about this new series I'm about to do. Let me know what you think about the bike. But also, make sure you come back to sugarcane.com. There's a link in the description. It takes you right back to this bike in particular where you can go and rate it. And I definitely want to get those ratings in so we can find out which bike becomes number one. So this is the Bike of the Day series. It's Crazy Al Kane. Make sure you subscribe to the site. Make sure you hit that notification button so you know when the videos get posted and all of that. And like I always say at the end of every show, Back to you, Billy.